Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 60, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, the Sith Lords. And uh, we just had a rather in long but interesting discussion with Atten, and we've finally gotten him to Jedi. Um, I'm tempted to leave the ship so I can put him in the crew and level him up. And maybe do that with some of the others. Dude, that does not seem like a safe way to scratch your head. Especially not with a double-bladed sword in your hand. You, you, use the left hand. All right. Uh, Korea was one of the other ones that we saw doing stuff in that little interlude bit with the crew. So let's talk to her next. And if we've got time, we'll talk to the Handmaiden and maybe Bowder. I, I, I think we might have enough influence you gain to change that. With the servant of Atris. Uh, <laughs> five seconds in this conversation. I've had enough. I'm going. Uh, none of your concerns, so what? I'm surprised you know so much when you never leave the room. Let's go with that one. I knew her mother. She was a Jedi oh. knight, a master named Aaron Kai. Jedi are forbidden to have children, and when the crime finally came to light almost a decade later, Kai was exiled. She joined hmm. the Mandalorian Wars after the shame of her birth was revealed. Um, I don't remember her. Are you sure she served under Revan? Or how do you know that? The handmaiden told me not to speak of it. Revan welcomed her. And she oh. was said to be a skilled warrior. Beautiful and strong in the Force. The Force flows strongly in the blood of those born from Force sensitives. I doubt that Aaron okay. was any different. If the servant of Atris is of her blood, then the potential lies within her. If you train her, if you teach her the ways of the Jedi, you will be asking her to break her oath to Atris. It would be best not to train her, and let the bloodline die with Telos. Oh. Uh, but shouldn't she know her heritage? You said teach her the ways of the Jedi, or I... I do not wish to train anyone. Well, that's a flat-out lie, because I've already started training at and So, uh... You said teach her the ways of the Jedi. Curious choice of ah, words. That was an interesting choice of words, indeed. She has sworn not to follow the path of the Jedi by her oath, but even that oath is limited. One does not need to be Jedi to learn the ways of the Force. I suspect it <laughs> cares little for our codes and philosophies. Oh, uh, okay. Um... But there is only Jedi and Sith, so what you're proposing seems a greater evil. Are you proposing teaching her the ways of the Sith, but shouldn't she know her heritage? How could I train her? Um, let's go with the question first. Shouldn't she know her heritage? Or, no, let's go. Are you proposing to teach her the ways of the Sith? I propose nothing except what you choose to read into my words. But no, I would mm -hmm. not advocate such teachings either. I am only saying that she has sworn not to follow the teachings of the Jedi, and that is a curious distinction in her oath. But we were speaking of the servant of Atris. I would caution you to be careful of your interaction with her. She is not as tempered as you. Um, shouldn't she know her heritage? Should she? By whose judgment should such truths be revealed? Eh. I do not have such arrogant presumptions. The Jedi mm. separate yeah, children okay. from their parents as they did you. It is because family exerts a powerful influence on one's development. I am merely saying that revealing such things can have profound consequences, nothing more. All right. So how could I train her? You must train yourself first. The time will reveal itself. Yet if you persist as you have building her trust, then you will be training her, hmm. whether you know it or not, until the choice is hers, not yours. All right. Before what you other continue questions? questioning me, I hope your thoughts in the matter concerning this servant of Atris are clear. No, they're Spend not clear. Spend time with her if you must, but recognize where your true loyalties lie to the galaxy and yourself. Uh, 
My loyalties lie to my friends and allies. Jedi have no such attachments. Uh. Mm. So I'm not going to go with there's none of your concern, and I don't need a lecture from you. That seems uh, counterproductive. Uh, let's go, Jed. I have no such attachments. Ah, so then perhaps I was mistaken in my judgment. Never have you wondered what it would mean in the Ichani rituals if the two of you sparred and fought, and you won completely and utterly if perhaps she would give in surrender oh, are you suggesting what I think you're suggesting you are the thoughts that can hide in the shadows of your mind exile and such passions are not strength but erosion um <laughs> perhaps and perhaps not we shall not see I never felt anything like that maybe you should keep your thoughts to yourself um Uh, let's go. Let's go with those flat out. No, then perhaps I was simply mistaken. Very uh -huh. well. I shall keep such judgments to myself. No, you won't. Yes. Have you come with questions? Okay. Uh, teach me more about the Force, if you can. What is it that drives you? The bond we share. The sight. Something like an echo. Lightsaber forms, force forms. Ooh. Very what about the force forms? Which did you wish instruction? Uh, the one that allows me to focus allows the force. It you to recover your strength with the force more quickly, and it lends strength to your force powers. It has no other drawbacks. Such a form is a gift. Preferred at the Jedi Consulars, and effective in okay. combats where you must fight only through the Force. Alright. Uh, what can you teach me more about the Force? Very well. What is it that drives you? Um, can you teach me lightsaber the forms? The Jedi practice many forms, many styles of lightsaber combat. It is good to know them, but not to rely on them. You may have already felt the Shicho... The simplest of the forms return to you as your skill and yep. perceptions have returned. Others may come with time, with experience. Ooh. Uh, what can we can tell me about the Makashi? Ah, a technique that helps one resist the force attacks of an enemy and also is excellent in lightsaber combat. It does more damage, but it leaves you vulnerable okay. to other attacks. Use it against others wielding the force or lightsabers, but not against anyone else. Others may come with time, with experience. Um, tell me of this other one I can't pronounce. A defensive technique, but effective. Use it if you do not wish to be hit, or if you are facing many opponents with blasters. Okay. With a lightsaber blade and enough skill in deflection, it is an excellent offense against blasters. All right. But in other situations, so that's what the forms are for to give you a little bit of an extra edge time. and a little bit more With tactics. Experience. And all right, what about the simple, first one? And its simplicity is strength. It allows focus, a slightly improved chance of connecting with one's opponent. It has no other advantages or disadvantages. It is an effective form to fall back on when no. Okay, so what you're saying is, it's the one to lean on. With time with experience. All right. Um, I had other questions. Ask, and I will answer. All right. Do you know what happened to T3? Betrayal. And by a machine that I will not abide. Machines. Always huh. did Revan use them to inflict his will on the galaxy, whether in war or in assassination. His passion for such tools, for things dead to the Force, defies me. He would well, I mean, that is his HK droid. Such as you, dead to the Force. A shell that would carry out his orders. It is no matter. It is a device, and now it is broken. Oh. Yes. Have you okay. come with questions? Uh... 
Yes, and I need some answers. And I will do my best to answer. What do you know of Isa's master? If he can truly be called a man any longer, is one of the dark lords that pursues you. I do not think he knows what you are. Not yet. He spared the Miraluka, and that may have been the last hmm. shred of feeling that exists within him. Keep his slave close to you. I suspect there was a reason he spared her, and perhaps a reason that she survived when the rest of her people and the Jedi did not. Alright, um... Not a slave any longer? What illusions you will. Huh, okay. I'm too tired to argue Thanks. With you. He's no longer a man. One cannot have power of that magnitude that her master possesses and still think and perceive the universe as we do, as most of us do. I had okay. hoped that you would not have to confront him, but her presence here has changed all that. You will have to meet him in battle. You must be prepared to sacrifice the blinded one. Perhaps her death will buy you the time you need to deal with her master. I'd rather not. Do you have any idea why he spared her? Perhaps he is bound to her. As I am bound to you. If so, there may be a death served by hers. You must be prepared to sacrifice the blinded one. Perhaps her death will buy you the time you need to deal with her master. Okay. Uh, Ask, any other questions I, I can... Uh, I had questions about how Riven amassed such that a huge force. Nope. For okay. I don't have enough influence. All right, never mind. I'm clearly not going to be able to get any more out of her. So let's, uh, there we go. Let's see what we can do yes. with the handmaiden. Oh, what you do? training so that if danger should strike, my body and my reflexes will be prepared. That, and I had forgotten how long hyperspace travel can be. If I do not have something to focus my attention on, I fear my sanity will erode as well. <laughs> uh, you could always play Pazak with that. What do you mean, Pazak? What, again? No, I do not trust no, him. Never mind. At cards? That too. Oh. Uh, yeah... This is going to be a short journey if everyone's watching each other for betrayal. Look, I don't think any anyone here trusts each other. Yeah, let's go with that. That is untrue. You and the Iridonian trust each other. Or at least the Iridonian trusts you. We heard hmm. much of the Iridonian when we served Atris. Atris believed that the Iridonian held the knowledge to restoring Telos. Oh, really? Uh... Is that why Atrus was siphoning power to the Telos Academy? Who, Baradur? Yes. His skill with machines is something beyond which most can aspire to. His shield technology surpasses the designs of even the most skilled of Ichani power architects. I well. do not realize if you know what it means to have such a one respect and follow you. The Iridonian allied himself with no one on the entire world of Telos. Yet he will follow you at the risk of his life. His stance, in many ways... Mirrors yours. Where he walks, he carries a world upon his shoulders. And like you, I do not know if he has ever faced it. Um. Let's see. I don't want to talk about it, and I don't want you asking him about it either. No. It's not your concern? No. You never understand. Hidden way in the academy list. <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, let's try with, maybe you'd like to explain why Atrus is siphoning power to the Telos the Academy. For such siphoning of power are complicated, and I do not know all the answers. But there is something greater being achieved. The teachings mm -hmm. of the Academy must be preserved, even if it draws strength from Telos. Atrus thought he was the key to saving yes. Telos? His skill with machines is something beyond which most can aspire to. His shield technology hmm. surpasses the designs of even the oh, most skilled okay. of We're back down to this one. architects. I do not realize if you know what it means to have such a one respect and follow you. The Iridonian allied himself with no one on hmm. the entire world of Telos. Yet he will follow you at the risk of his life. His stance, in many ways, mirrors yours. Uh, where I, he walks, 
He carries Maybe he's my next uh, talking to you then. Like you, I do not know if he has ever faced it. Yeah, I'm not gonna go with you'd never understand. I don't. Uh, I don't like any of these options. Um. All right, forget it. Add some other questions. Yes. I'll come back to that one later. Uh, hmm. Can you teach me some fighting moves? Yeah, let's go with that one. Very well. I think you are ready for the next tier of instruction. For this, All right, we'll let's go spar. The last duel, but we shall add any melee weapon you choose to the ritual, with the exception of the Jedi weapon, the saber, vibro okay. blade, Bothan stun stick. Force pike, whatever you wish, but no items, no force. No techniques. items, no force techniques. All right. Any melee weapon, no lightsaber, no items, no force powers. Got it. And let us begin. And again, do not hold back. I will not. And yet we're doing this naked again. No, no force powers. That's right. All right. Let's uh, hit up the flurry. That seemed to work out well for us. Hey, where'd my sword go? I thought I had a sword. Wow, that went quick. Indeed. You have caught the principles of the style by watching and anticipating my movements. Ooh, influence gained. Um, can we have clothes gained? Okay. And where is my Sith War Sword? Long sword, Trandosian long sword, double bladed sword, Sith War Sword. There we go. And uh, before I go talk to the handmaiden, let's uh, the flex heavy armor. Sure, why not? And the handmaiden staff. Oh, seriously. Enough with the dramatic music. Yes. Alright. Uh oh. Do we have some more fighting moves? I do not think you are ready for further no. instruction. Okay. Each movement of our arts demands some time to use the art in battle, or to examine how it may be best used in battle. <laughs> Any reason I have to fight without clothes? Duels among the Ichani are rituals, and it does not allow for armor or anything that restricts movement. All right, uh, let's go with that. Explains I just wasn't and expecting it. has no place in combat. Even the youngest of the Ichani understand this. You should as well. All right. Any ask. other questions that we could ask? Uh, As I said, I knew little about her. Okay. Uh, did you know that she was a Jedi this is Knight? Already known to me. Why are you telling me this? Okay. Um, it means you may be able to use the Force as well. I do not know enough of you yet to speak of such things. I do not know your stance, your heart. All right, Perhaps I don't have enough to train influence. In battle. My thoughts on this would be clearer, but not now. Okay. Ask. Do I have enough influence to she go said through you this? You the Jedi by going to war when it was forbidden to you. You turned on your masters. Your okay, never mind. We've been down this road before. And we're about 20 minutes in, and I want to try to get in one more conversation. Mr. Bowder. Here has an effect on me, General. I never noticed it years ago. I think my mind was too occupied then. Uh, <laughs> your mind is weak, that's why. No. What do you mean? I feel calm, more in control. The anger is still there, but... I can feel it drifting away. 
The last years of my life have been defined by it. The Mandalorians, Zerka, and Revan. And above all else, myself, for Malachor. Uh, what about me for giving the order? Never, General. It had to be done. My you stop calling me General. Mandalorians. I cannot be forgiven for that. What you can, what you did was necessary, as was what I did. Had you not, millions of innocents in the Republic would have been killed. You saved them. <laughs> if name I can't pronounce could be forgiven for waging war against the Republic, you can be forgiven for saving it. Let's go with the second one. Even if I did it out of hatred of the Mandalorians? Uh, anger will lead you to the dark side. You did it to save us, to protect us from death. The Mandalorians were defeated, the Republic saved. Let's focus on the save us. That might be the truth, but I don't want to see it that way. I can't just ignore the blood on my hands. Um, you dwelled in the past for too long. Guilt is just something you use to hide from your true responsibility. Yikes. Uh, let's go with you dwelt in the past for too long. Even if there isn't, I still feel like I need to do something to make up for it. Uh, learn the ways of the Force. I could teach you, but you must let go of your anger. I don't really want to do that, though. I want him to stay a tech specialist. Uh, but I guess not. Because I got, I could teach you, or I could teach you. If you let me teach you, the Force can become your shield. I believe you could learn to become a Jedi. Uh, learn the ways of the Force. I could teach you, but you must let go of your anger, or else it will destroy you. And you will fall. Yeah, let's go with that first one. Under your guidance, I feel like I could overcome my anger. Uh, the Force is strong with you, but I fear that your anger would lead you to the dark side. Yeah, let's go with that. I have the same fear as you, General. I've seen the crimes of fallen Jedi. I'm afraid I could too easily travel down that same path. If you don't mind, there are some repairs that need my attention. Well, okay then. Um. Yes, General? I wish to train you. Do I have all the lightsaber parts? Do you have any shields? Uh, never mind. All right. So, I think I've maxed out the conversation part with him. Uh, that actually went quicker. So let's see if we've gotten... We haven't actually done anything with her. All right. Yeah, let's start with the third one. I want to teach you some of the techniques. That's new. I am prepared for whatever you wish to teach me. Vezos has learned the now. effect mind. I shall practice what you have taught me. Well, okay then. Um, I don't know if that was good or not. What other techniques can we teach? Whatever you wish to teach me. Dominate mind. Oh, I yikes. I shall practice what you have Th those were not the techniques I wanted to teach, by the by. My life for yours. Alright. Uh, I had questions. I will answer what I can. Homeworld, Paragus, Paragus. Never mind. My life for yours. How I did you find me? Felt you. Yeah. Heard you through. And who I sent you? I served my master. I am an yeah, no, exactly. A scout. My master was aware of. There is little my master does not know, and that you eluded his sight for so long. All right, um, all right, we're not going to get any more out of her. All right, we've taken care of him and Kriya and T3 and Atten. And I think that takes care of everybody. All right, so let me go ahead and save the game. Okay, and I think that's where we're going to end things. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's going to be it. Well, that was fun.
unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos, because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.